I'm really proud of Nikki. She was my hero. She would always put somebody else first. My name is Donna Lise, and my daughter is Nicole Ann Lise Sylvester, however, has always been known as Nikki. Nikki had the biggest heart, I think, of anyone that's ever touched our lives. She was a happy child. She loved people. She would do anything for anybody. She was strong, brave. Whatever she encountered over all the years, she did it with a smile. Nikki was, of course, our daughter. She has one brother, Chad. When she was born, we decided to call her Nikki, and a lot of people came in and called her Nicole. And Chad being two, he decided she would be Nikki Cole. She was an aunt, a granddaughter. My father's still living, and she was his baby. A great friend, a great, great friend to whoever's lives she touched. She was super. She has one child, Tommy, and she's the best mom. She wrapped her life around Tommy. In my book, she's number one mom. I think she had me beat. Tommy was eight when Nikki was diagnosed. Nikki found a lump in her breast Valentine's Day, um, 2014 and called me and asked what she should do about it. And I said, don't fool around. I had something we should investigate immediately. March 10th, 2014, we had our bad news that it was indeed cancer. And unfortunately, it was triple negative breast cancer, which anyone not familiar with is a very aggressive cancer. And your life changes from that day on. In our hearts, we were like, gee, she's 36. She found it early and she can beat this. Um, we didn't curse in our home, but she said, I'm sorry, Mom, I'm going to kick cancer's ass. Nikki was strong from the word cancer. Very positive attitude, which I think does help beat your disease or fight your disease. Um, because of the type of chemo for the triple negative, you only have maybe two weeks till you lose your hair. So I suggested we cut it short one day. Of course, we both cried. But the day that I buzzed it, she went home, Chuck and Tommy had their heads buzzed so that she wouldn't feel different. So that was pretty nice. She was not even a year out from all of her surgeries when we were informed that the cancer had metastasized to her liver. That's the only time I think I saw her with some tears because she said her bag that she used to pack for chemo made her feel nauseated when she had to pack it again. So, but she fought, she did everything. She never, Nikki never gave up, her body gave up, it had enough. When you pray for a patient, try to pray for their families, their caregivers, whoever they might be. I always prayed for Nikki's physicians, that God would give them the wisdom to make the right decisions. My prayers changed the whole way through Nikki's journey. When she was diagnosed, like I said, I prayed she beat it. When we were told it metastasized, I prayed that she would get a lot of good time and she could fight long enough that Tommy would have the opportunity to have more mom memories. And then when it gets to the end, you kind of realize you have to let go. We work together as a family through it all. I don't think there's anything any of us could say wish we would have, maybe we could have. We did it all, but we did it together. CMMD's team, that's why my husband and I decided we needed to jump in because we feel this is where God's going to use us now. I want to be able to help families that are going through what we went through. I want everyone to know they offered to do more than we accepted. Uh, Nikki's family was nominated one year for CMD's Christmas program. And when she hung up from the phone call, she told me what it was about and she said, Mom, it is very tough, but she said, there are families out there and there are children out there that need this more than me. And I said, I'm very proud of you that you would think of someone else's family first. Dr. Meyer kept saying to me, surely we can do something, something, you have to think of something. So one day towards the end of the journey, I was in to see her and I said, 
You know, Nikki's always wanted to see a Broadway, her and I, because I've been to a couple and she never had been. And she's like, where do you want to go? We're on it, don't say anything else. They put it all together and we had a great time. It was only a few weeks before Nikki was called home. You're so overwhelmed at that point. And if they hadn't jumped in and did that for us, I might sit here today and say, I wish I would have did it. Nikki was huge, huge on sports, but loved softball. She played all the way through school from junior high up. We ended up one summer in Sacramento, California for nationals. So it's quite an experience for a child and their parents. One of Nikki's friends, she said to me, Mrs. Lease, um, I want to do a benefit softball game for Nikki. And the Lady Braves wore black t-shirts and they played our family like my son and Chuck and my nephews and, and they all wore gray. So the girls played the family. I had said to one of Nikki's friends that um, Nikki Stad and I uh, were going to participate this year in this runs personal and we want to start giving back what uh, the team has offered us. We had a huge turnout. We had a huge team, Nikki. I had so many, I had strangers say to me, everywhere they looked, they saw Team Nikki t-shirts. That run that day, it was fabulous. The spaghetti dinner event. And I will be sending postcards to everyone on Team Nikki this year to state that our second annual Team Nikki run was CMMD and put the date on to honor her. She is a great tribute to Nikki. What really impressed me with CMMD's team was the, the wanting to help local families. A cure would be awesome, but the idea to help local families. Um, I'm going to share one thing my little guy said one day. I said, you know how sick mommy was sometimes on chemo? I said, if the team tells us there's somebody this summer that's going to be going through their chemotherapy and they can't mow their yard. I said, there's lots of little things. And he said, well, when you guys start like helping somebody mow their yard and stuff, he said, then I can help too. We want to be used. Anyone out there, please, if we can touch you, if we can reach out, we would do anything for anybody. Um, I know a real good handyman. <laughs> if you can give back to anybody, and in any little way sometimes can mean a whole lot.